It's a building built for baseball, but you know what? It's working out pretty darn good for rodeo. Globe Life Field, they had the World Series here in October, and the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo invades in December. Jeff Metters, Butch Knowles, as we talk about what happened in round number three. The Eliminators were out in bareback riding and saddle bronc riding. I love these nights. <laughs> when they're out, it's exciting. And, you know, I thought they bucked extra hard. For some reason, they just brought their A game tonight. And, boy, some guys matched up good. Yeah, like a world champion in bareback riding is Casey Field, who blows in. And he has not won a go-around, hard to believe, since 2015. 91 and a half points later, he has broken that streak. You know, when we were talking about when he left the shoot, how aggressive he was, how serious he looked. And it was well paid off right there. Nine and a half for Field. He's trying to win his first fifth world title. He's on a good start. Steer wrestlers have figured out Globe Life Field. Will Loomis tonight gets a win. 3.5. Yeah, what a pin of steers. We saw about 10 runs in the three second range. 3.5. Great run for Will Loomis. Look out if he gets rolling. Boy, and in team roping, Dustin and Travis have taken control. They won the last two rounds. These guys are number one in the world. Boy, they're looking good. Travis Graves is on his A game on that healing side, trying to win his first world title. He's stepping in the right direction. 90 and a half was the magical number in saddle bronc riding. The cowboy was Alan Bohr. Alan Bohr on Calgary's great yesterday delivery. And I mean, this horse tried everything he could to get Alan on the ground. And Alan said, not going to happen. Not going to throw my hat either, but I'm going to get all the money. <laughs> Tie down roping was fast tonight. And Corey Solomon was the quickest. Seven seconds flat. Watch him go down the rope like a slingshot. You know, you and I have watched Corey Solomon for a long time through his whole career. And how quick he is on the ground. He definitely took advantage of a good draw and wins the round. And I'll be really upfront about it. Congratulations to Corey. I'm a, I'm a Lisa Lockhart fan. She almost won round one if it wasn't for that pesky third barrel, but she wins round three. How impressive was this? You know, and she and Rosa, they're just getting started. Great second barrel. You can see how fast this run was setting up. And this third barrel, you watch her launch off in. That's as quick as you can get around and get good drive off it. Great run for Lisa. In the bull riding side of things, only two guys made the whistle. That's going to help Colton Fritzlin. He came in number 10 in the world. He wins 89. He jumps all the way to number two. You know, I, 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 I haven't watched Colton a bunch in his career yet. I was really impressed the first night how well he rode. And tonight, he proved the reason he's here at the Ranger Round Farm. Three rounds down, seven still remain on the Cowboy Channel. And RFD-TV, round number four, coming up tonight.